so welcome to our live webinar. Today's live webinar is on transfer pricing uh, documentation and today is lesson one. Uh, with us here is Yi Hui, our speaker today. Hello. Hey. You look at this table. Huh? Why I keep emphasizing the TP doc is very important because um, due to this penalty framework, okay, uh, when come to TP audit or investigation, after the finalization of the case, if there is any additional tax to be paid, okay, on top of that, there's a penalty, okay, penalize you for not complying the TP rules and regulation, okay. You can see if no transfer pricing documentation prepared, okay, you when they ask, you don't have any document, okay, uh, and they they have to do some adjustment by the inner revenue officer. Any additional tax, you are subject to 50% penalty. Say after the TP adjustment, your additional tax is 100,000. 50% of 100,000, which is mean 50,000 will be your TP penalty. Okay. Why we need to use the key, uh, allocation key? Allocation key is used to determine the share on the cost basis for each recipient of services okay and is used when cost cannot be assigned to each recipient directly means that quite common that some of the cost is being shared if the cost is a direct cost okay it's only being service one party or being consumed by one person i can straight away allocate okay but a lot of this kind of situation is very complicated because everything is shared. I, then with that, I cannot direct a locate. That is the complication step in. That's why I need to have a location key. From question from Tekui, Malin, Joyce, and Chris. Okay. Tekui asks, common shareholding, any percentage to uh, determine whether it's a related company transaction. I would say that there is no specific uh, uh, percentage for shareholding okay? as long as uh, it's controlled by a same person to make the business deci uh, the decision uh, of the business decision making, a common control, common person to do it, then that is already categorized under control transaction. Thank mm -hmm. you.